Hello there, mathematicians. Today's objective is, uh, and I should add on here, it is objective 130B to make sure you're on the right page. Uh, students will be able to write the slope intercept equation given point on line and M or B. Okay. Now, as you're writing this, whenever you see the slope intercept equation or equation of a line, you should immediately write down and be thinking y equals mx plus b. That is the slope intercept equation. Okay, hit pause, get this down. Okay. Next part of the notes. What two things do you need to write the equation of a line? Again, what should you write above equation of a line? What should immediately pop into your head? Should be y equals mx plus b. Get in the habit of just writing that out. When you see equation of a line or slope is an equation, this is what you should be thinking. Okay, what two things do you need to write it? Well, we've already done this. You need the m, which is the slope. Okay. M, and you need the y-intercept. Okay, which is what variable in the equation? It is the b. Okay. All right. First example. Now, listen carefully to how I say this, because most of the time it'll be written out in words. the The problem might say something like, "What is the equation of a line, okay, that crosses point eight two, and has a slope of negative three fourths?" Again, what is the equation of a line that crosses point eight two? Okay, and has a slope of negative 3 fourths. Alright, first thing we need to do is we need to think about what this actually means. So let's just, and do this in the very left hand side of your paper, of your notes, draw just a small coordinate plane. Now where about is point 82? Well, you go right 8 up 2, so it's about right here. Okay. Now a slope of negative 3 fourths. Okay, it's going to be negative, and the rise is 3, so I go up 3, and then, again, it's got to go up and to the, if it's negative, up and to the left. So up 3, and then left 4. So somewhere right in here, up 3, and then left 4. So we are simply trying to find, okay, if it asks what is the equation of the line, we're trying to figure out what is the equation that matches that line. That's it. Okay, what is the equation that matches that line? All right, so uh, the very first thing that we're going to do is just label what's given to us. The 8 is what? What is the 8? And then what is the 2? Well, the 8 is the x of the ordered pair. The 2 is the y of the ordered pair. And m is already given. So all we have to do, you guys, is substitute in. Okay, um, one thing that I want to say first before we get to that is, okay, we need to write the equation of a line. So what two things do we need? We need the M and we need the B, the y-intercept. We're given the M, we don't have to find that. But we have to figure out what the B is, what the y-intercept is. Okay, well luckily, we know what y is. Y is what? It's right here. Y is 2. And whenever we substitute in, we should always use parentheses, is equal to, well, what's m? m is negative, again, use parentheses, negative 3 fourths. Well, do we know what x is? Yeah, x is right here in the ordered pair, which is 8. And then the equation, this plus b, we don't know what it is. We just bring that down, plus b. Okay? So all of a sudden, we start off with the equation y equals mx plus b. We knew y, we knew m, and we knew x. So we can solve this equation for b and figure out what the y-intercept is. Okay? So this 2, so 2, just bring it down, equals 2. Negative 3 fourths touching, so times 8, would give you, I believe, negative 6. And then you just bring down this plus b. Okay, so this negative 3 fourths times 8 is 6. 
Now, we need to solve for b. What is being done to the variable b? Well, on the same side of b, you have a negative 6 hanging out over here. How do you get rid of a negative 6? How do you undo it? You add 6 to both sides. So b is equal to what? b is equal to 8. Now, so often students will get this answer and they'll circle it and move on. Put a big star by this because we are not done. What did we ask you for at the beginning of this problem? I asked you for the slope intercept equation. Okay, so now we know m and now we know b. So now all we have to do is plug these in. y equals, so now we keep the y equals and all we do is substitute in the m and substitute in the b. So the m, y equals mx, so the m was, that was given, negative 3 fourths. So draw arrows, wherever you're writing this at in your notes, draw arrows, show, oh, that's where we got it from. Negative 3 fourths, you keep the x. And then the b is a positive 8, so we just write plus 8. That is the slope-intercept equation. Okay? All right, if you have any questions, make sure you hit pause, rewind it. Make question marks um, about where you have questions. Let's go on to the next example, though. Okay, example two, we're going to uh, use the exact same process. Okay, the question would say something about write the equation of a line that passes through point negative one three and has a slope of one fifth. Okay, well, right away, right when we hear or read equation of a line, we should be thinking y equals mx plus b. What two things do we need to write this equation? We need the m and we need the b. Okay, So, label what's given. This is the x and the y. This is m. So plug in. The y was 3 equals, what's the m? The m is 1 fifth. What's the x? The x, look right here. The x is Got my parentheses, x is negative 1. Do we know the b? No, so just rewrite it, plus b. That's what we need to find, so we can write the equation. We knew m, we need to find the b so that we can write the equation. Okay, so rewrite this, 3 is equal to. Well, 1 fifth times negative 1, positive times negative is a negative. Anything times 1 is itself. So we would get negative 1 fifth. Uh, and then it would be plus b. Okay, Finish solving for b. What is being done on the same side of b? Well, we have a negative one-fifth. How do you undo a negative one-fifth? You add or have a positive one-fifth. Whatever you do to one side, you got to do the other. So, 3 plus one-fifth would be 3 and one-fifth is equal to that cancels, so it equals b. Now, b, can it be a mixed number like this? And the answer, yes, it can. Okay, remember, if we go to graph this eventually, I can go up three full steps and then like a little fifth of a step. Okay, if it's improper, like uh, that would be 16 over 5, it's just that, you don't know where that goes on the y axis. Okay, all right, should we circle our answer and move on? It's number one mistake. Okay, our equation was y equals mx plus b. Now we know that we already knew the m, now we know the b. So y equals, go ahead and write the equation down. Make sure you're using a pencil. Okay, so y equals the m was one fifth. We keep the x, y equals one fifth x. The b was a positive, so plus. Again, you guys, if it's positive, Okay, and make this low arrow. If it's positive, you write plus. So 1 fifth x plus b was 3 and 1 fifth. That would be your slope intercept equation. Okay? All right, two more examples. Okay, example three. Um, I want you guys to try this one on your own. Basically, do this find b. So get to the point where you find b, and then you can unpause it and check with mine. Okay, so right now hit pause, solve for B. Okay, I'm going to go through this rather quickly. 
it would ask something about write the uh, equation of a line or the slope intercept equation. This is x, this is y, m is given. Slope intercept equation, y equals mx plus b. Plug in what's given. y is negative 2, m was positive 5, x is 4, and then plus b. Okay, rewrite negative 2. Again, you should already have this. 5 times 4 is 20 plus b. Solve for b. What's being done to b? Well, you have a positive 20 hanging out, so we got to subtract 20 from both sides. Negative 2 minus 20 would give you negative 22, and that equals b. Did we write the equation yet? The answer no. So y equals mx plus b. We, the m is 5, so y equals 5x. Now, Okay, typically we always say plus b. Okay, well it totally depends on what b is. Is it a positive or a negative? In this case, it's a negative, so what do you think we're going to write? We're going to write minus 22. Again, if your b is negative, we're going to write a minus, whatever the number is. That would be your answer. Okay? All right, one more example. I want you guys to start setting this problem up. So get set it up and substitute in your numbers and then stop and check it with mine. So hit pause now. Okay. It would ask for the slope intercept equation. So y equals mx plus b. P or label what you have. This is x, this is y, this is b. Okay? So, label what's given. The y is 2. Look at your ordered pair. is equal to. Do we know the m? The answer, no. We don't know the m, so we keep the m. Now, the x was 3, and now the b is given to us. The b is a positive 3, so we write plus 3. Do you guys see the difference in this problem? Before, okay, the m and the ordered pair were given, the slope and the ordered pair. Now, and we, we would have to solve for b, the y-intercept. Now b is given, and we got to figure out the slope. All right? So this is a two-step equation. Should be pretty simple. How would we rewrite a variable times a number? Well, we write as a coefficient, the 3 in front of the m. All right? Again, two-step equation. What's being done to the variable? How do you undo it? If you're struggling with solving equations still, Make your do in your undo box to help you out. Okay, So in this one, what's being done, we are multiplying by 3, so we need to divide by 3. We're adding 3, so we need to subtract 3. We use what, how do we know how which one to do first? Do we divide or uh, subtract first? Well, we use reverse gem does. So we need to start with addition and subtraction, so start by subtracting 3. 2 minus 3 is negative 1 is equal to 3m, and that cancels. What's being done to the variable m? Multiplying by 3, so we have to divide both sides by 3. 3's cancel, leaving you with m is equal to negative or positive is a negative 1 third. Okay? Answer? No. We need to write the equation. So y equals, what's the slope? Because remember, y equals mx plus b. What's the slope? Negative 1 third. Make sure you write that negative neat. x, we always just rewrite the x. And then it was a positive 3, so we write plus 3. Again, that would be your equation. Okay? All right. Before you get to class, you need to finish. Okay, you need to finish practices, uh, practice number one through six. Okay, so you have six practices next. Just finish only those six problems. Okay, we'll see you in class.